Welcome to Americana Archives. Today's headline is Shooting Flying Fish. The subheadline says, A novel sport carried on in Southern California waters. It says, The visitor to the island of Santa Catalina, California, or he who goes out on the launches from Long Beach or San Pedro, is always entertained by the remarkable flights of flying fish, which in these waters attain a length of 18 inches and a weight of 2 pounds. Alarmed by the boat or steamer, they dash out of the water by a vigorous movement of the screw-like tail and dash away in headlong flight, skimming over the waves like birds, presenting so remarkable an appearance that the tourist, who has never seen so extraordinary a performance, takes them for birds. The flying fish is not flying, but it has four very wing-like fins, which serve it a similar purpose. That is, it hurls itself out of the water by the aid of its tail, and then using the four wing-like fins as parachutes, goes soaring away, covering a distance of an eighth of a mile. When the inertia fails, the tail of the fish drops, and the moment it strikes the water, it begins a violent twisting, which sends the fish into the air again, and by repeating this, the fish is able to cover the long distance. The wings or fins are not flapped, the only motion being a tremulous one imparted to them when the tail is twisted in the water. As the boat glides along, these fish dart from the water and go soaring away on either side, and it's then that the sportsman, sitting in the boat, has an opportunity for some novel sport. The fish move like some quail, very low, not more than two feet from the surface, and are not the easy shots one might imagine. They move rapidly and appear to rise and fall over the waves and go sweeping along in graceful curves. Sometimes four or five are in the air at the same time, and the good shot can bring them down to the right and left. All that's needed to carry out the idea of quail shooting would be to have a dog. But there is a sea dog that flushes this attractive game, the agile tuna. The flying fish is its legitimate prey, and big schools come sweeping in from the deep sea, driving the schools of flying fish before them, chasing them into the air, six, eight, ten feet, giving marvelous exhibitions of lofty tumblings. At such times, the flying fishes are crazed with terror and lead the water by scores and hundreds. They fly into boats, out upon the dry beaches, strike boatmen who happen to be in the way of their headlong flight, and present a most attractive appearance to those who have never seen a flock of ocean fires in the air, with fish six or seven feet long, pursuing in a series of leaps or jumps. Sometimes the tuna chases the fire along just below the surface, catching it as it drops, a cloud of foam alone telling the story. This article was originally reported from Santa Catalina. This story came from the great state of Mississippi, being reported in the Seacoast Echo of January 15, 1898. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, now remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.